my god are you freaking kidding me look at oh you can't even see it on the phone oh no dude that hornworm is actually glowing in the dark oh my god welcome back to the true north life and as you guys saw in this intro Hornworms are nasty. They are the creepiest little creatures that you could ever find in your garden, in my opinion, as well as my mom. She totally believes that they're from sci-fi movies. And I'll give you a couple of pointers on how to make sure that you protect your garden, as well as keep those nasty hornworms from coming back next time. When you have hornworms in your garden, it's because a moth has dropped them off in your garden beds. Or the tomato hornworms can also be found on your pepper plants, as well as tomato plants, other nightshade plants, nettles. So they can be found around your garden pretty regularly and it's kind of hard to be able to guess where they're going to come from. So you may even notice that if you have no tomatoes in your garden, you still have hornworms and that's why, because they prefer a variety of plants. Now there are a few ways that you guys can make sure that one, you keep them out of your garden and two, they stay away. So one way, if you know you have them in your garden is if you come out one day and the leaves on the top of your branches are pretty much eaten away. The hornworms don't eat the stems, they only eat the foliage of the plant, which is why they die so fast. And a hornworm grows in about three or four weeks. So means that they consume a lot for the size. They get to be about four or more inches long. Which is crazy huge and like otherworldly if you're going into your garden and suddenly there's this bug staring you right in the face like oh my god <laughs> if you guys find that you're having problems with tomato hornworms one of the easiest ways to identify if they're in your garden is actually by their poop you won't be able to find them too easily even though they are so big on your plant because they are well camouflaged they are that nice green color the same as your plants are so when you find them you'll often see a greenish or brown poop that almost looks like a corn kernel that's been deposited onto your plant that's a really good sign because these bugs are easy to maintain and control. So even though they can be quite devastating. So the faster that you can identify them on your plants, the sooner you can save your tomato and other plant crops. So these hornworms, when they are on your plants, the easiest thing to do is just to pick them off. And it's kind of funny on how you want to find them as well, because you can find them in a couple of different ways. One way that I've done it this year, and my husband calls me like Hawkeye for it, is that if I were to shake my pep my plants, just like this, all I'd hear is a tick, 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 because they get really mad and they crunch their teeth together. So they sound like they're crunching down on the hardest salad that you've ever heard anybody eat. And you can find them that way if you have really good hearing. So if you shook one plant, I'd be able to tell, okay, I heard it, it's on this plant and not on my other ones. So I can go ahead and check that plant out really thoroughly. If I don't hear anything, then I think I'm okay for the day and we'll move on. The other way to find them, which is the one that really freaks me out, which you saw in the intro of this video, is that they glow in the dark. You may not have been able to see it so well because the, the uh, black light doesn't show up so well on the camera, but it really does work. It's like the most freaky thing on the planet. So these guys yell at you when they're kind of, you're coming close to them. They grow really big. They glow in the dark. They have a horn on their butt and they turn into giant moss. If that isn't something out of a sci-fi movie, I really don't know what is. And now that I've completely and totally grossed you out, telling you that the easiest way to get rid of them is to pick them off, I'm sure that you really won't want to do it. But if you guys just get a pair of tweezers like you can get from a pet store when you're trying to feed your reptiles, or if you have something that you've been using to feed your chickens or something like that as well on the farm, then you're, that would be a really awesome option so you don't actually have to touch them with your hands because they can also kind of flail around because they've got lots of legs and that's kind of freaky. I don't like to touch them, I'd rather use the tongs. The other thing, if you guys want to keep these things out of your garden, is that they deposit eggs or pupa into your garden beds or into your garden area so that they can come back next year. So the best way to do after you've taken your harvest out of your garden beds is to till the ground. Make sure you rough it up real good to destroy any pupa or anything that could be remaining in that soil so that they can't come back next year. Another way to keep them out of your garden is to make sure that there isn't anything for them to lay eggs on. So moss will go to areas that have a lot of foliage so that they can have the best chance for their eggs to produce into mature hornworms and the species will continue and yada 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 natural lesson if you remove all the excess weeds and anywhere that they could deposit their eggs then it will reduce the chance of them putting them on your plants 
if they do put them on your plants, then you can manage them a lot better if there's nowhere else for them to go and you can reduce the risk of them coming into your garden. The other way, if you guys want to manage them naturally, is to promote wasps. That's right, I said wasps. There are paper wasps as well as small braconid, which are a different type of wasp, and they are natural enemies to the hornworms. They will completely destroy your hornworm population and reduce the risk of any more hornworms coming back the next year. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> And this will also reduce your risk of the hornworms coming back next year. Having a natural enemy for these insects in your garden that you don't want to keep around is a really great way to manage it as well as keep it pretty natural. So keep an eye out for what is invasive in your area. You know, obviously don't want to introduce any species that are starting to take over in your area. And, but if you are able to introduce these wasps to be able to manage your hornworm population, it was definitely something that I would recommend. If another way to manage them is really just to pick them off. I wouldn't recommend any pesticides or any kind of chemical to be able to keep them off your plants. I would really, if you have a small garden, obviously this isn't a commercial solution, but if you have a small garden that you are able to walk and check your plants in the springtime, so they are usually in your garden from the summer till the fall. So if you can go out and every couple of days, just go and check them. You don't want to leave them for a week on their own without checking them. If you've seen any evidence that there may be a possible infestation of hornworms because these plant animals will take over your garden and demolish your plants quite rapidly as they mature. So they can will consume more and more and more and more as they get older. So the sooner you can catch them, the better it will be for your plants. We had tomato hornworms on our plants you could see this year and all of our plants made it through. All it took was a few days. It took me about a week just picking them off and I think I only had 20 or so come off of our plants. So I'm gonna be going through and we're gonna be tilling the ground and we'll double check next year to make sure that we don't have a problem again. Even though we had them this year and even though we're going to do this, we may not be 100% successful in keeping them off, but it is good practice to make sure that we don't have to add any harmful chemicals or anything and it's a simple practice and it's a good check to be able to make sure that your plants are doing well throughout the season. I hope you guys found this video enjoyable and that you guys found it really useful and that you can put some, some of these methods into practice the next time that you experience issues with hornworms and I hope that you guys have a great day. My name is Jillian from the True North Life, and I will see you guys next time. So I couldn't catch it, but look at the size of the mother trucker! Eating my tomato plants? Uh, those are my tomatoes, so, nope. We can pretend that we're just friends, yeah, but who are we kidding? I am willing